we've, we've only just started bolting the car together, but we've already got a book out. So what's in the book? What's in the book is the first five years and 40 man years of effort to get the car designed and to solve the engineering challenges that we've, that we've had to get something that's gonna take Andy safely through the flying mile and back at a thousand miles an hour. There's some great pictures in here that really give you a behind the scenes view of what's going on here at the Technical Center. The story of all the configurations from Config Zero, Ron and Glyn's original answer to the thousand mile hour question, through to Brian's cheese before bed moment when we switched over the jet and the rocket. It's been a long journey and lots of different models of the car to get to a final answer. The car is a cross between a Formula One car, fast fighter jet and a spaceship and draws technologies from all three and making all those materials work together so that we have a car strong enough and stiff enough to keep Andy safe has been a massive challenge. We're lucky enough on the project to have access to three EJ200s. The engine is an absolute engineering jewel, stunning to look at and you can spend hours just staring at it and there's some great details on the engine in this chapter. It's fair to say the rocket is the most bespoke and probably the most difficult to develop part of the car. And your understanding of rocket science will develop from reading this chapter because there's some great stuff in it. And really, it's not so much rocket science, it's jumbo chemistry. So all these, all these CAD images are generated from the same screens that the guys are working on day to day. They switch into high resolution mode and you're seeing exactly the same information and picture and view that the designers see when they're assessing the design, ready to switch to manufacturing mode and releasing the stuff for manufacture. There's some great images in here of the guys working in the workshop, not realizing they've been captured. And it really gives you a feel of the effort, and concentration that goes into putting this thing together. And it's absolutely right that we don't wait till the car's built and run to share that, because we've done a huge amount of work up front, and that story's told in the book. All the trials and tribulations, all the difficult bits, and none of it's hidden, it's all there, and you can read it and really feel like you're joining in with what we're doing, and tell we've told the story up to the point where we're busy putting the car together now. And then that's the second chapter, that's the next book, which is seeing the car actually run. Yeah.